So let's go to Aaron Thomas. He just heard this news conference. He was standing right next to it. Let's go to him live. Aaron. Yeah, Gerald, I do want to point out the somber uh, tone that we felt here at the news conference, pointing out uh, Mayor Mary Ann Ball, when as soon as she approached that podium, I could certainly see her hand uh, trembling. Uh, this is certainly a, a tough day for a lot of folks in Raleigh to deal with uh, right now. It's certainly something that uh, re reverberates throughout this city. Earlier, uh, photojournalist Ryan Turhune and myself were at the State Fair, and as soon as we heard about this news, it was pretty tough to actually be in a good mood when something like this just resonates across the city of Oaks. Uh, yeah, we did learn that five people included an off-duty officer was sadly uh, shot and killed. Uh, we did ask maybe three questions and then a lot of the city officials had to go back in. We were told that we would receive updates every hour on the hour, so we might be getting the next update maybe around close to 10 o'clock uh, tonight. Do you want to know what exactly it means for the suspect to be contained. There's a lot of questions surrounding the suspect at this point, if there's a present danger for anyone living uh, in that neighborhood. So we're certainly going to continue to press officials uh, on that. So be sure to stay with us and we'll provide uh, any new information as it becomes available. And also, before we uh, send it back to you, I know, Deborah, you were asking about um, Chief Patterson as if anybody did hear, sounds like she is on a, a professional uh, conference, but she will be back on her way uh, to the city of Raleigh following this devastating news here. Yeah, it must be difficult for her to be so far away mm -hmm. when something like this happens. Aaron, did anyone ask, uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to hear, but did anyone ask if they were going to release the identity of the off-duty officer who was killed or any of the other victims at this point? No one got to ask that point. We did also ask about the... Uh, the condition of the victims at this time. Officers did not have that information for us right now. We got to fit in maybe three questions and then they scurried in. So, of course, there's a lot that many of these media outlets, as well as ourselves, that we want to know at this point. But we'll be, we will be sure to ask some of those questions and bring it to you. All right, Aaron Thomas reporting live from Raleigh Police Headquarters. Aaron, thank you.